Hey guys, let's do a review today on uh, camera stabilizers for the action camera and your uh, smartphone. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, for the three methods that I use to stabilize, I have a little tiny tripod, close it up like so, mount either my action camera or the, uh, or the smartphone up here, see we got a lot of noise, and uh, that's one way to stabilize. Another way I stabilize is with the Z-Grip. I can either put my SDLR big Canon camera down here and then put a, a light or a microphone up on top or I can mount the action camera or the um, smartphone up on top here too. And uh, then we'll get into the uh, gimbal and all the buttons. It's called, well it's spelled Z-H-I-Y-U-N and it's actually pronounced Juin, Juin, or the uh, Smooth 4, so I just call it the Smooth 4. Anyways, uh, we can, uh, let's see, it needs an app to run the camera. It will not run, the buttons will not work with the action camera, but it will work with my uh, smartphone. Okay, we'll get the uh, app running, connect to gimbal and there we are connected I don't know if you can see that because of the, the Sun but uh, you can see how I can move this and it's got the uh, pan focus that's functioning right now and I can have uh, okay now well it's the big knob here on the side, when you first turn it on, it has the wide and the telephoto. So if you turn it slowly, it goes to telephoto. And it's only doing digital telephoto as opposed to the lens uh, telephoto. So it's quality is probably not that great at all. Now, as far as the buttons go, uh, let's start at the bottom here. The one with the red uh, dot on it is uh, record mode. Press that and it starts to record. Top there's a little light flashing. It tells me I have 100% battery in the gimbal and 75% battery on the uh, smartphone itself. So we'll stop the video. The next button over is to take a, a still shot. That's taking a still shot. And then the one up from there is the display. I can press the button and across the bottom of the phone there's a display. Turn it back off again. Across over top here we have the menu. This will bring up uh, a menu system I can turn the center wheel and cycle through the different uh, menu options which we won't go through press the menu button again and the menu is off uh, the target button here if I press the target button It brings up the uh, focus. Uh, I can focus to infinity and focus uh, close. Or if I press the target button again, I'm now into uh, telephoto or wide angle uh, mode. And that's uh, done with the big knob on the side. The button down here is the power button, and then above that is a, a two-way switch. It's in PF, which is pan focus, which means when I turn the, when I pan, the camera follows the focus. 
or follows the, the movement. But when I tilt it forward or backward or side to side, uh, when you go down mode here, lock, now it's in fat, it's in uh, locked on to whatever you, you are, whatever you locked it on to. Let's say, for example, I turn it over to here and it's in lock, it's gonna lock there. I can turn the handle, pan, yaw, pitch, and it stays uh, facing that direction. So it will not move. So we'll put it back to pan. Now there is a button on the back. It's got uh, a lower button and an upper button. The lower button is called, let me just see, it's called the follow all mode. So when I push it, the bottom button, and I, it's uh, follow focus on no matter what. If I tilt it up or back, side to side, it follows the focus. When I press the upper button, uh, it locks everything so I can turn it. It's like quick. Uh, it m goes to the movement of what you're turning. So if I turn it sideways, it goes sideways real quickly. If I turn it down like this and let go, it's going to stay focused or uh, uh, oriented on that particular object. So to get out of that, you push that button on the back, the bottom, twice. And the camera goes back to uh, center focus there. Uh, the center wheel has four different buttons on it also. Um, this button over here is front to back. Sorry, this button over here is front to back. If I push it once, it's now forward facing camera. If I push it again, it goes to rear facing camera. Uh, the top button here is the video recording options. So if I press it, I can either do 720 or 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second. Menu button takes you back. The button on this side over here is uh, exposure button. When I press it, it brings up a yellow box and I can turn the big knob and uh, uh, let me try that again. Now it, it will it will do a um, exposure. Uh, the bottom one is a playback mode. If I press the bottom portion of this wheel, it'll show me all the videos and all the still shots that I've taken. And I can cycle through them and, and see what they are. The menu is the back button, and then it has a center button also, which when you're in, a, in the menu mode, say for example, I don't know if you can even see that the sunlight is, but I can turn the wheel and it will select the different menu options that we have there. And that's just about it. The only thing I don't like about the gimbal is the handle itself. It's not ergonomically very good. It's um, pretty square. You can feel it in, in your head. It has some good weight to it. Um, I haven't found any flaws in it yet whatsoever. The Zhuin, uh, Zhuin uh, Smooth 4 um, gimbal. The links for the Amazon affiliate links will be in the description below. So you can go have a look at these things and you can make your purchases on there. I'd appreciate it. Appreciate it very much if you could make your purchases from uh, within my my uh, video so that I get at least a little bit of uh, commission for uh, inter for reviewing these this item very nice batteries in the handle it's got a, a you plug in here and you can power up the it lasts quite a long time I think it's 12 hours or something I can have it so it lasts quite a while there's little lights uh, blue lights in here indicating how much power you have left inside and right now I have four but four red lights or four blue lights which is all the way to the top so it's got a hundred percent so this is the uh, Zhuin Smooth 4 gimbal way better than the, uh, a tripod or the Z grip those still are pretty erratic unless you're standing static and uh, um, like uh, 
moving in forward on something or standing mo basically still. Uh, the action, or the gimbal, you can walk, you can run, uh, no problems, except the bobbing up and down. That is just something that's uh, on all gimbal gimbals that I've seen so far. As you walk, it will it will bob, but it'll stop all other movements whatsoever. Beautiful piece of equipment. Okay, let's get into some footage of uh, each piece of equipment. This is handheld, walking and running. Uh, no, no standing still, no uh, static, because then you can hold it pretty good. The tripod, a little tripod I had, walking and running. And this is the Z grip, obviously walking and running also. You can see how erratic movement it is. And finally the gimbal. No movement whatsoever, except a slight bobbing up and down 